Okay, so we have our fly rafters laid out and cut and we have our common rafters laid out and cut. So the last thing that we need to lay out and to get ready to frame our roof is the ridge board. That's that long board that goes along the top that we nail our rafters into. Um, so when selecting a ridge board, um, you wanna try to make, uh, have a board. Our rafters are gonna come in here at the top. And we want to try to get as much surface of this rafter plumb cut as possible. So could probably get away with a two by six on this, but a two by eight is a better choice because you have a lot of nailing surface here. Um, so what we're going to do here is we're going to lay out our ridge board. Um, that way we know where to nail all of our rafters when we get them into place. Um, so what we're going to do is we're actually going to start with our overhang. Um, the Overall length of our building again is 12 foot. So we're gonna have an overhang on both sides. So our ridge board, um, after it's all laid out, is gonna be 14 feet total. So we're gonna start here and we're gonna hook on the end and we're gonna mark it at 12 foot or 12 inches, sorry. Um, and we're actually, um, you can account for roof sheathing um, and hold over a foot and mark out 16 on center. I like to just um, go ahead and hook on our one foot mark. AJ, would you mind holding here? Maybe come on this side and lay out. You just have to cut your first sheet, but um, it's not that big of a deal in my opinion. So I'm gonna come, um, remember our walls we laid out 16 on center. It's gonna be the same concept here, except we're gonna do 24 inches on center. Um, so we're still going to subtract that three quarters of an inch. So our two by material is right on center. So we have 24 inches, come back three quarters of an inch and every two foot make a mark. All right, and now we're at 12 feet. So this is gonna be the end of our building. And then we're gonna add that extra foot again um, for our fly rafter. So we'll go back with our speed square now and we'll mark all these out. Now this end one, this uh, edge of the two by four is also gonna act as our cut line. So just to double check, making sure that our layout is good, we'll hook on the end of the board and then just make sure we have exactly 14 feet, which we do. So uh, we'll get this all laid out, um, finish marking our lines and we'll cut this at 14 feet and we'll be ready to frame the roof.